Anyway, all right, guys, let's go to the number two biggest story of the year. There's no question that gambling on MMA has contributed to the growth of the sport. But all that came to a screeching halt about six weeks ago when huge line movement in the hours leading to a fight involving Derek Minner and Shailen Nerdenbeki raised red flags. The fight still happened and ended after 67 second, seconds, excuse me, with Minner suffering a TKO due to an injury that was not disclosed pre-fight. At the center of this controversy is Minner's coach, James Kraus, who prior to all this was very open about betting on UFC fights. Investigations into Kraus and UFC are ongoing by various government agencies, including the FBI. This is a serious situation that could have major ramifications on the future of the sport. Guys, how are you feeling about all this, given what we know? Mike, it's back on you. Yeah, so I guess at the time of this recording, obviously, you know, things may develop by the time this comes out, but it's been pretty stand pat for the past few weeks here. We haven't had any major new developments or anything like that. And honestly, going into maybe the, the first little chunk of 2023 here, I expect that to remain the same because this is a story that uh, kind of with the level it's risen up to, slide slightly out of our purview like not a ton of people are willing to talk on the record about this they're not willing to talk even off the record about this in a lot of instances just because um, there's so much uncertainty there's so much in the air and it's such sensitive material but obviously as we've talked about over the past few months from the moment this story kind of hit our radar it has the potential to be very detrimental to the sport of mma as a whole the ufc you know more particularly since the uh, fight in question is one that happened under their banner. And yeah, like there's, you know, red flags and suspicious stuff and uh, a lot of, you know, potential bad fallout from this thing as a whole. Um, you don't want to have any sort of questions about the integrity of a fight, the organization being brought into question, because then that's when the whole house of cards can collapse in a lot of ways. So um, this is something that we will be closely monitoring, obviously hugely important. We don't want to make any you know accusations or bold declarations here because we don't know how this will unfold but right now i mean it is a story that's you know one of the big black eyes on our sport right now and going into next year uh, we hope it comes to a resolution for one way or the other and then if there is uh the bad apples they get be you know proven to be bad apples we want the hammer to come down on them because there's no place for this type of stuff um, and we'll, we'll just have to see how it plays out. I mean, Dana White, we saw my exchange with him, the UFC 282 press conference claiming that, you know, he's is out of the loop as most of us when it comes to the hard facts about this, believe this, if you will, uh, he may, you know, obviously probably knows more than we do, but right now, um, we're kind of just having to stand on the information that you kind of laid out there, George, and see what the next step is. All right. And goes again, sensitive topic, but given what we know. Where do you stand on all this? Man, I mean, all this could be a, a complete game changer, right? We've seen things like this happen in college sports, even at, at uh, some of the, the top levels, like in baseball, right? We've seen things happen like this. These are sports that are more established, right? Our sport still has its critics. It still has people coming at us. So if something like this were to be proven true, yes, it would hurt. It would be damaging. Um, and I feel like we're just scratching the surface here on all this stuff and there's not as much information. I know James Kraus is probably thinking, hey, man, innocent until proven guilty. But in when this type of topic comes up, you have to have this kind of reaction, right? The UFC has to react this way. They have to make you believe that the integrity of their sport is the most important thing right now. So that's why you may even feel an overreaction, right, with with having to shut down the camps and nobody can even be around them and all that. That's just going to have, have to happen because of the severity of what's actually going on. And, uh, and, and yeah, Mike asked Dana White and Dana just kind of had the space. Like, I know he probably knows more than what he's saying, but, but come on, man, it, it is important. Like, uh, yeah, you're not going to pick up the phone and ask the FBI and they're going to tell you exactly what's going on. Right. But you can talk to other attorneys that have been through something like this in other sports and get gather a little bit of information. But uh, this is a very, very serious thing, man. And I don't know how it's going to play out. I do feel, though, that our sport has been around long enough. It has the attention that it has. Um, I think it could survive something like this, but it's definitely going to be a black eye on all this. Yeah. No, I think it'll definitely survive because I'm thinking about the baseball scandals that we've had. The sports usually, it, it's always bigger than the scandal, but it, it, uh, it, it, it does taint it, you know. 
it, it takes time to get over it too for either a franchise involved or a, a person of note that's involved as well. All right, how about you, Nolan? Chime in. Yeah, I mean, these guys pretty much said most of what I would say as well. Um, I think it was a massive story. I think it was obviously uncharted territory. I think we're kind of left with more questions than answers at this point, but I obviously with the statements that have come out, this is very serious. This is something that is not being taken lightly. I think that we wouldn't have gotten those sort of statements if, if uh, they thought that this could be brushed off or that it would be nothing or just a nothing burger. And I'll say that one thing I can speak on just because we don't know all the details of everything else is I think that this will be a cultural change for MMA. I think that fighters, coaches, managers, whoever are certainly uh, going to triple think placing bets on anything going forward. Um, you know, Bloody Elbow did a story recently and I, I've, I've spoke, I've said this, but I didn't really have examples lined up, which is this is go back and watch a bunch of these press conferences that we've sat through through the years. How many times have we heard somebody sit up there and say that they bet on themselves or they bet on their teammate or they bet on somebody else? And so they, they kind of compiled a bunch of the examples of it from over the years. Like even on the UFC broadcast, they were showing tweets from fighters saying, hey, I just laid down some money on my friend and so and so. Like, so I think all of those sort of things are going to end up, uh, you know, kind of coming to a head. At least they should if, if, if the individuals involved are smart. Um, I think that that will be at minimum the biggest change I can say right now that will occur. And then we'll have to see, you know, where this investigation leads. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out something at some point, whether people are found guilty of doing this, whether they're cleared, whether it's somewhere in between. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure how much, how in-depth or detailed those re reports will be when they come out. But it's obviously all very interesting. Like I said, uncharted territory. And um, it was one of the biggest stories this year. And I'm sure it's probably going to be one of the biggest stories next year, too.